save your money. If I could return some of these products, I would. has taken the internet by storm and it is not for her music this time well yes cowboy carter but it is also for her hair care line sacred and i'm so excited to be trying it out today because look at this this is two weeks consecutively in a bun dry matted just a hot mess i'm really hoping this line really lives up to the hype that the social media influencers have put out there in my best keith lee voice i got it let's rate it one through ten but first Now I do want to be transparent as possible, I did make this wrong. Instead of using 24 ounces of water like what the direction said, I did use 5 ounces. So that is important because you will see my review on this later on. Just remember, I used a lot less water.
hair smells good hair smells like the mask so I am going to do a flexi rod set using her using the moisture sealing lotion I'm actually gonna use this and a prayer because <laughs> she doesn't have any um, gel or any mousse or anything like that yet so I'm gonna use this to seal my flexi rods and hopefully fingers crossed it turns out good so hair is washed this is it no product the deep conditioner has been rinsed out okay like look at the thickness look at the fullness look at the growth like listen <laughs> you cannot tell me anything about curls i've come such a long way it is 9 21 i should be in bed right now because that's why i'm so nervous like i hate sleeping with a flexi rod set so i'm like should i do a flexi rod set and I kind of have no choice. I'm already here now. I, I just gotta do it. I'm not gonna get any sleep with a flexi rod set. I already know it. So before I do the flexi rod set, I just wanna talk about the line and what I really, really like. So in total, I got the moisture sealing lotion, the reconstructing treatment mask, the nourishing hair oil, the fermented rice and rose protein treatment, the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub, the hydrating shampoo and the moisturizing deep conditioner for a total of $270. So again, oh, I look so pale and ooh. All these opinions is 100% mine, 100% authentic. If you do not agree, you know, watch your mouth. So now I'm gonna go through each product and I'm going to rate it and let you know if I would buy it again and if I wouldn't. Okay, so let's start off with the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub. This I would a thousand percent buy again, a hundred percent. I really liked it. It really got my hair squeaky clean, and it just—I just felt all that product just come lift up off my scalp. And it smells good. It just—it feels good on my scalp. A thousand percent, I would buy this again. So this, if anything. If you just want to buy one product from there, this would be it. Beyonce did her big one with this one. Chef's Kiss, this is a really good product. The hydrating shampoo. It did not feel so hydrating. It didn't. It still felt stripped. It still felt like how it felt after the clarifying shampoo. Would I buy this again? No, I would not. When using new products, you do have to retrain your hair to get adjusted to that new product. So that's why for a first impression, yes, it is super important to agree with the products, but at the same time too, you still have that leniency of retraining your curls. So I'm going to give this line 30 days. Like I'm gonna work with it for 30 days. Hydrated shampoo. I'll give it a four out of 10. So this is the rose and rice protein treatment. I know what I was supposed to do. Um, whenever I do my homemade rice water, my hair like, it feels different. It gets hard. It just, it just feels different than what this felt. And then with the silk, I guess because it was, you know, the silk rinse, I thought as soon as I applied it into my hair, it was gonna instantly soften it and make it silky. It did not. This I would rate probably a three out of 10. I, I really didn't notice a difference. So anytime I use a deep conditioner in the past, instantly, as soon as I apply it to my hair, it starts getting that slip. You know, that silky slip where it's like, oh my gosh. I can literally like just start to comb out my hair with my fingertips. I did not get that with this product. Um, I really had to work it in. In fact, I had to take my brush and comb it in to really work it into my curls. But once I did work it in, it softened it. You know what it reminded me of? The Curlsmith Multitasking Conditioner because it did the same thing too. I actually had to work it in to really get it to soften up my curls. So that's what it reminds me of. And I'm used to using the Inner Sense where as soon as I put that in, it just starts to make it feel soft. So after I worked it in though, it definitely, it, it hydrated the curls. It 100% did. So I would definitely give this a seven out of 10. It did good. I am on to the Moisture Sealing Lotion. What I am gonna do is I'm going to part my hair. So let me try. Her line does smell really good though. I will say like, oh my gosh. She got the scents. Perfect. Mm. It definitely does soften the curls. 
it smells so good i'm not gonna do a flexi rod because this is not gonna hold to do a flexi rod with this and be uncomfortable damn near break my neck sleeping just to wake up for it to not form you know what? i feel like i should try it though let me try it on one piece of my hair So I'm gonna leave this on and I'm gonna be back and we're gonna test this out. If it comes out cute, I'm gonna do the rest. So, okay, let me see. Even though it has been like five minutes, let me see. Yeah, no, 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 cause it's, yeah. I have to do a twist out. Yeah, immediately, no. Okay, my twists are done. Honestly, the hair lotion, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Good morning. <laughs> What's up? So, it is the next day. I'm about to take out my twist out and we're about to see the results. So, put my hair up. And you know, if I could find a way to make my twist out look cute, I would have no problem rocking this because I do love a good twist out. I just, I don't know. Only thing is my hair is still a little damp, which is going to suck. But I have to do this because I have a dentist appointment in like two hours because I get my braces off. It looks cute so far. I mean, I'm not crazy about a twist out, so I kinda knew what I was getting myself into. I don't know, this has actually turned out cute. I feel like this is the best twist out. I, okay, I, oh, listen. If this turned out as good as it's looking on camera, like in person, when I go look in the mirror over there, I may be doing twist outs. Yes, so I am actually looking for like a low maintenance hairstyle. And I feel like this is it, because I could rock this. Ooh, I think this is gonna be it. Ooh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I think this is gonna be it. Ooh, this is looking I don't know, I feel like I gotta fluff it up some more. Let me take these out. But this could work, actually. So I was not feeling the twist out at all. It looked ugly. That's why I say from the camera, I was like, this look cute. I could do this. In the mirror, in real time, it wasn't it. No, and I think because I didn't use anything but the hair lotion, so I had no styler, I had no gel, I had no mousse, maybe that would have turned out cuter. I don't know. So, in conclusion, do you need sacred do you need to spend that 270 dollars no absolutely not if i could return some of these products i would if you really want to like if you're just like oh my gosh it's beyonce i really i just need it i just need it the clarifying shampoo and the hair lotion those are the only two products i would spend my money on all of these are just my opinions if you want to try the line do so i feel like <sighs> Some of these influencers that were gifted the product, in my opinion, I do feel like it was overhyped. It's okay though, I don't mind rocking a bun for another week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.